collaboration, which is how Gloria described Farisa Dasha's work. She said, always the child is the most important person. We become partners in bringing up the child. Hello, chair, chair, hello. Morning, Abe, Abe. Hello, chair, what? Can I be there? Hello, hello, hello. Are you okay? Hello, hello. They can start change. Hello, hello. Chair, hello. Chair, hello. Chair, hello. Chair, hello. Chair, hello. Chair, hello. you to please come on stage. I would request Ms. Aarti Saur to please felicitate our guest of honor. Good morning, all of you. It's not uh, often in our business that we end up saying good morning. It's always good evening because we always have late night shows and we have late evening shows. And I don't remember the last time I ever came for a morning function. We are dysfunctional in the morning, so, you know, it's only by afternoon that we get to see the world and understand what's going on around us. First and foremost, uh, you'll have to excuse me, I'm a bit un, uh, under the weather, so I'm going to be brief and terse. Um, before I begin, I would like to thank very specially Mrs. Kiran Dutta and Mrs. Aarti Zahu for inviting me and making me um, a part of their beautiful dream and endeavor. So, ladies and gentlemen, please uh, give them a big hand, a big, big hand. And I'm sure all of you could do a little better by smiling and clapping louder. Always sets the ball rolling. I always feel that if you are a little more enthusiastic towards people who are addressing you or there, even if you have to pretend and act like actors, you could do so and, you know, uh, it doesn't require much of an effort. Uh, and I... Um, always say this whenever I'm performing anywhere. The Indians have this strange habit of not applauding you or clapping you. You know, I mean, unless it's Prime Minister Narendra Modi, then everybody is going Modi, Modi, Modi. Uh, but otherwise, uh, they, they, they just tend to look at you and not react. So you really don't know whether they are liking what you're doing or they are angry or they want you to get the hell out of that place. So you have to always request them to please clap. And I say, Indian audiences are always so disciplined. If you don't implore, if you don't request, they won't clap. Let's hear you clap for 20 seconds. That's it. See, it sounds so beautiful. It, it, it just sounds so good. You know, when you clap, you're not, you're not applauding me. You're applauding each other. We are creating a beautiful, positive atmosphere where we hold hands and we stand for each other. And I said, you know, one for all, all for one. So it's a beautiful feeling when, when you are there. We haven't met each other before, but, you know, when you clap or when you smile, 
it seems that you know we are there for you and it's a great feeling to be you know to to have that feeling of warmth and love and affection by people even unknown to you because you know and there's always a first time and you get to know people uh, i had very specially requested not to give such a long drawn uh, um, cv and an introduction because you know it sounds sort of vain glorious to have such a long uh, introduction and i think if you just had to say ladies and gentlemen presenting actor shaker suman it would have uh, it would have been enough for me and i would be very happy it's quite embarrassing to hear things what you have done and and just go on and on uh, i think standing right here i'm uh, i'm here for a very very noble cause that's all i know and uh, it would be audacious on my part to teach or tell anything to educators and educationists or to erudite people or to teachers uh, i wouldn't have the temerity or the audacity to kind of stand here and tell you what to do because i'm sure that you you know you are are far too uh, mature and intelligent than i am to to be told what to do and what not to do but what parisar asha stands for and before i move on i must make a very special mention of joshi saab who has taken out his uh, very precious time to be uh, and uh, and be a part of this ceremony and you know make it more uh, all the more interesting and all the more uh, important so a big hand for him ladies and gentlemen a big big hand for him i i almost fainted when i heard his schedules i mean he's he's managing about six departments and i said how do you do that how really do do you do that because you know it's, it's not humanly possible to look after so many things with so many people with myriad responsibilities how do you manage and he says he said a very beautiful thing he said i get up in the morning i take out my diary i make a note of all the things that i do and by night i make sure they're all bloody done so you know that's that's the way that's should be the conviction and that should be the resolution and that um, that's the way to do a thing you know unless you don't decide that i have to do it and i have to do it at any cost come what may you will probably will have a lack of discipline attitude towards it and says maybe i'll you know leave it for tomorrow or some other day or some other time but even when he delegates authority he does it with a lot of conviction and, and a lot of authority and and he sees to it that the job is done so uh, kudos to you sir for uh, looking after all of us and i think in a, in in your own very special way uh, you know you're contributing in such a in such a big way to the society in such a vast manner having said that now let's come back to parishar parishar asha and as it says that it you know it's a center for educational research and training i mean it's it's a very esoteric subject that you're dealing with all i know that on the on the surface level what i do understand and for any common person that i need to understand that education is and will always remain the most uh, uh, vital thing in our lives i think it's the most important thing if you are educated that's your biggest strength then you don't have to worry about anything in this world you know you can stand anywhere and says i am educated and i can i know about everything and i i can talk about everything i can understand everything whether it comes to life or when it comes to society or it comes to any other thing i am educated and i think you know when we were starting out we were always told by our parents that you know in 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 our lives hierarchy it's always the teachers who come first even before parents because they make you what you are so sitting right here i uh, it's uh, i would bow before all of you because you are doing such a great service to mankind and humanity and i think you are such wonderful people i think all of us from different walks of life wherever we have reached and achieved anything in any manner is all thanks to our teachers if they if they did not invest that kind of time and passion and imagination and 
love into what they were doing, we would not be standing here, uh, you know, talking to each other. We would not be here um, sort of very happy in what we are doing. And I owe a lot to my teachers. They taught me to discover my discover myself, discover my latent talent, discover whosoever I am. It is very important to understand who you are. And education is the first step towards that. And when I say education, I'm not talking about just a pile of books. You know, that's unfortunate that we have come to a time when, it, or there, there's some people who think that education is like as many books that you read. Or, or education is just going to school or education is just going to college. Education is a lot more than just cramming what's asked of you or, you know, what you read in books or what you just teachers tell you to do that. You, it's, it's a lot more than that and that requires personal effort. And, and all the teachers around the world, they help you do that. And so I guess that we have to understand what education actually means. And when you talk about the soul in education, I often sort of asked myself when I was studying in school and college that what am I do doing with these books? And just, I think just a few days ago, I was sitting with my mom and I, was, I said, you know, you sent me to the best school, best college, etc. But, you know, there are a lot of things that I, I was, uh, you know, uh, acquainted with right then, which I was told to do specifically because it was mandatory. I don't think that is useful today or relevant today, you know. I mean, as an actor, I don't see how my chemistry lessons are helping me now. 